Okay, guys, uh, it's actually a couple of days later. Uh, I had to go and uh, change my phone plan and everything. AT&T decided to screw me for the past six years and charge me $60 a month for the past six years for something I never had on my plan. And I asked for a refund. They told me to basically go to hell. So uh, I got rid of them. I went to T-Mobile. And they gave me a new iPhone <laughs> for free. Anyhow, uh, we're gonna. T it's been two days, so this should be fully cured. We're gonna take this sucker apart and see if the part pops out. Now, uh, a tip is: I've seen so many people on YouTube who are doing molds and planes and what have you, and they use a wood chisel, a metal chisel to split the molds and yank and bank and all that i use these uh plastic don't know what the hell they're called <laughs> i guess they chills or something i don't know i got these from like arbor freight for a couple of bucks years ago and these work great they don't damage the mold where uh metal can definitely damage and crack it anyhow i'll continue on <laughs> So it's going to take ages to get these off, so I'll stop the video and get back when we've uh, when we're ready to crack it open. All right, guys. So uh, got all the uh, nuts and bolts out, so the mold is no longer clamped. So I think we shall try starting at the tail. And just crack it a little bit if it is at all possible. Oh boy. Bit sharp in there. Oh, there we go. So I'm just gonna, whoops, right on one of my dots there. So I'm just gonna go in a little twist, go around the other side, a little twist. Always being gently bently. And what you want to do is hear it cracking like it is. It's kind of a good sign. We'll go with the bigger one now. Actually, let's try this one. It's a little thicker. And what I'm trying to do, there's going to be flashing, like I say, about an inch or so in. And that's why I'm breaking breaking off right now. So I'm just going to come down the other side. It's a matter of being patient. Because remember this rear end, I couldn't get tape on it. So it's just uh, basically glue between the seams. And if you push too hard, you can actually push into your part, which is not advisable oops yeah, I should have cleaned up before I started this And, uh, you know, I don't like to do my molds too thick, but this is where it would help. So the parting plane wasn't flexing like it is right now. It would help uh, separate things a lot easier. There we go. Once you get one breaking like that, generally uh, the thing will just come basically flying out. So that's one half off. You can see all the flashing so that's why I put the PVA uh, in. Now this is where I do cheat and I do use a metal scraper. I just go very gently, flat so it doesn't dig in. And uh, run it down to break the flashing away. I could probably just yank this thing out and it'd be okay, but... I don't want to risk the uh, part splitting. And if you'd seen my, uh, what was it, A6 videos, I think, 
you'd see where when I was demolding the, the fuselage, it actually all separated. Because <laughs> uh, I, I was taping that one after I'd got it out of the mold, where this one I taped while it was still uh, all in the mold and just basically uh, fresh and laid up. All right, so now this is where having a thin walled mold helps. So now I can go like this, where if this thing was, you know, an eighth of an inch, quarter inch thick, I wouldn't be able to twist it and play with it and so forth. There we go. So I just put it over the edge and basically lever it out and that's what you want to be hearing right there she's ready to come out so you just got to be basically patient so I'm putting it over the edge and pushing so it separates the stuck bits And we are having a bit of a problem with this. Oh, that's right. I forgot this part sticks in. She'll come out. There she is. All right. So there's a uh, fuse latch. Fresh out the mold. So let's take a look at it. Looks like the glue all glued. So it's going to come along and trim some of this stuff off. And obviously it helps if uh, this thing's sharp, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, and as you can see, the fuselage is grey. That is the uh, pre-painted primer I applied to the mold over the uh, mold release, PBA. Oh, that one's a toughie. I'm going to snip that a little bit. This is where, remember I was saying, when your part is green, you can trim the mold very easily without pulling the fuselage parts or the layup away from the mold itself. This is where it pulled away a little bit. So I think the epoxy got a little inside on the sides and whatever. you. It's going to be a little toughness. Now this is the one where I uh, fuse large where I've tried to go much lighter. So I didn't use uh, the mix of two ounce, uh, three quarter, two ounce and six ounce cloth. I pretty much just applied the uh, six ounce. I wanted to see basically how stiff the mold is. I mean the uh, layup is. And uh, it seems a little soft, but we can stiffen that up a little bit. No problem. Anyhow, yeah, that's most of it off. So, uh, well, it feels uh, kind of light. Let's see how heavy it is. So, I'll grab my scale. All right, so grabbing my accurate uh, United States post office scale we're gonna see uh, we're in pounds and ounces let's see okay put in the comments what do you think it weighs three four two one nine point eight ounces so pretty much half a pound i mean that's pretty damn good i think So let's see the, uh, and it's probably going to be about nine ounces actually by the time I uh, take all this uh, flushing off and so forth and clean all the PVA off. That's why it's so shiny because the PVA stuck to it. Now you can see it's uh, a little uh, 
flimsy than the other one. That's it. But it doesn't twist. It's nice and stiff longitudinally. So once I get the uh, horizontal stab in, that's going to strengthen this up. I can cut out the uh, wing pocket here. And then I'll be able to get a little deeper into about here where I could just apply, you know, I don't know, a three or four by six inch piece of six ounce cloth on either side because the servo is uh, going this end to the rear. And that'll stiffen all this up enough for what we need. Uh, however, it is stiffer throughout here, the front, because I did use two ounce from here the front and six ounce to the front so uh, she's gonna be good so uh, the next stage is I'll clean up the mold I'll do the cutout here for the wing cut out here for the uh, battery access and so forth and we'll clean it all up Stiffen it up a little bit and uh, we'll uh, laser cut all the parts we need. I'll show you how to do that. That <clears throat> comes out real cool when you got a laser cutter. Really, really helps. Those are all 3D parts. I've also made jigs to cut out the uh, pro proper angle for the horizontal stab and also to cut out the uh, servo. So it's kind of a little mini router guide that I've made. Using a Dremel, I kind of made a little mini router, uh, and, and it works pretty damn good. So I'll show you that in the next video. So thanks for watching. At least, if you're not going to subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, anything. I'll read them. I'll answer the vast majority of them. And uh, see you on the next video, which will be a few days from now. Thank you.